I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Pretty active day and night for us storm wise. We continue to see a lot of monsoonal moisture push its way into New Mexico. So once we add the heat of the day, we get a pretty good crop of storms. Western two thirds of the state will be favored again for tomorrow for more storms out there and the targets for flooding, mainly the burn scar areas where we've obviously had those very large wildfires. Over the next few days beyond tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, we'll start to recycle the moisture a bit. So the main deep flow is going to start to cut off and then eventually high pressure sets up over us by the end of the work week. This will calm down storms as well. Albuquerque Mayor R.J. Berry thinks there is enough moisture to reopen part of the Bosque and many of the city's other open spaces that he closed just two weeks ago. Although this is still the worst drought on record and the Bosque is still a match away from being a fire catastrophe, the city says with more humidity and rain in the forecast, now is the time to reopen the Bosque trails and paved roads. But that's it, not the woods itself. Officials say it will take at least three straight days of significant rain to reopen the Bosque completely. The murdered man whose body was found in a van at the Albuquerque Sunport parking garage in early June had been stabbed repeatedly. A just released report from medical investigators says Craig Stelmasic of Prescott, Arizona, had stab wounds in his neck and his throat. His wife, Laura, and a man named Marzette Ferris are accused of killing him at the Stelmasic Prescott, Arizona home, driving the body here in the van, leaving it at the airport, and then flying off to Ferris's home in North Carolina. Police arrested them there nine days later. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10 o'clock.